In this example, we will see how we can solve a problem which involves two charged spheres. Each sphere has a diameter of 4 cm and the spheres are separated by a distance of 20 cm. One of the sphere is kept at a potential of plus 400 volts and the other sphere is kept at a potential of minus 400 volts. We will see how we can use the axis symmetric model type in EMWorks 2D to simulate this problem to understand the electric field distribution in the airspace between the two spheres. First, let us create the airspace between the two spheres. As you can see in my geometry, I've created a sketch to do precisely this. Let me go ahead and edit the sketch so that you can see the dimensions used. Now each of the sphere has a radius of 20 millimeters or diameter of 4 centimeters. So I have created an arc, a semicircle that represents the sphere. Remember that we are going to use an axisymmetric type of simulation. As a result, we only need to draw the arc that represents the sphere. Imagine that this arc is revolved around this line and so you can form a sphere. And uh, the distance between the two spheres is 200 millimeters or 20 centimeters and that is also modeled here. Now once this sketch is done, we can go to the surfaces and create a planar surface that represents the air geometry. Next we will do the spheres. So to do that, let us create a sketch in the front plane and then we will use the existing sketch to convert the entities. Then finally we will draw the lines to complete the sphere. Now this must also be converted to surfaces so let us create two planar surfaces that represent the sphere. So these two surfaces represents the sphere because they will be revolved about this axis and then this surface represents the air space surrounding these two spheres. Now the only thing that is left to do as far as SOLIDWORKS modeling is concerned is to create an appropriate coordinate system that we can use to do a 2D simulation. So let's go insert reference geometry coordinate system. Let's place the coordinate system on one extreme end. We need to make sure that the x-axis is along the radius. So let us create the x-axis along the radius and we also need to make sure that the z-axis is going to be along the direction about which the spheres will be revolved. So let's go back and then make sure that the z-axis is here and the x-axis is here. So if you see here the x-axis should be the radial axis and the z-axis is the axis along the along the line about which the entire geometry will be revolved. This is the requirement to create an axis symmetric model in SOLIDWORKS which can then be used in EMWorks 2D. Let us now go to EMWorks 2D and do an electrostatic simulation. So I'm going to click the EMWorks 2D manager. The first step as you might know is to create a study. So I'm going to create an electrostatic study. From the 2D geometry I'm going to select the axis symmetric RZ type of solution. Here I'm going to select the coordinate system and say OK to create the study.
once the study is created, it will create a study tree. Now we need to define materials. So we're going to select the surface that is actually the air geometry. Right click from my favorite materials, I'm going to select air. Then we select the two surfaces and then this is some conductor material. So let's go ahead and select copper. Once the material is defined, we would now go ahead and define the voltages. As I mentioned earlier, one of the spheres is kept at a voltage of 400 volts and the other sphere is maintained at a voltage of minus 400 volts. And the objective now is to understand the electric field distribution and the potential distribution between the two spheres. Let's go ahead and do a mesh. I'm going to go ahead and create a mesh. Let me introduce you to a couple of mesh options. Because we have curved structures, we're going to use accurate curvature representation. And also the element growth rate can be made a little bit tighter so that we have a nice uniform mesh going out of the two spheres. I can make the mesh a little bit finer and say OK to create the mesh. Notice how EMWorks 2D creates a nice finite element mesh. Right click on study 1 to run the simulation. The solver is very quick in EMWorks 2D. Once the simulation is run, we can go ahead and look at the electric field. Now this is a plot of the electric field distribution between the two spheres. Now we have several different options in the plot. The first thing that I prefer is to have a discrete plot option which tells me the distribution of electric field. I can also plot the potential, the electric potential between the two spheres. Again, I can make it a discrete plot that distinctly defines the various potential or equipotential regions in my model. Thus we saw how we can use EMWorks 2D to create an axis symmetric model and solve them using electrostatic study.